Hey Sparks, what's up? And hello to my new viewers. My name is Montina Young Portis and my mission with this channel is to inspire, educate, and share information with you that will help you thrive in life and thrive in business. If that sounds good to you, subscribe. So today in this video, I have some notes here, a few things I wanna talk about. So I wanna talk about business credit because I see a lot of people making videos and they're like, yeah, you need to get your business credit and um, you can get access to $100,000 in capital and da, da 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 So I like to set the record straight on things from a business owner perspective. I run a video production and creative marketing agency and our goal is with an R3 system, we call it. Our goal is to help our clients reach more of their ideal clients, retain more business and generate more referrals using videos to market their products and services. I have employees, I've been in business six years, I have an office, I actually have three offices. So I'm telling you from a business owner perspective and I'm doing this full time, I've done it full time for five years. You can have amazing personal credit, okay? You can, I have a friend right now that has an 840 credit score. Amazing personal credit, still cannot get access to capital. Because everyone's online kind of talking to you about well, get your personal credit up and then you're just gonna gain access. What happens is you have to still show that you have revenue coming in. It's not just about your um, credit score, it's also about your revenue that you're generating, what's coming into your bank account and what your balance is in your bank account. And so I have it here. You may also have to put up collateral. And so I've done it where I've taken out a loan from Access to Capital for Entrepreneurs and I had to have over 600 credit score, which I have way over 600 credit score. I also had to give up um, collateral, okay? So I had to have some collateral. And then I also, um, what else was it? Oh, and then they needed to see how much money I was generating. So you're not gonna automatically, like some of these people are like, you're just gonna get capital. And here's the thing, with some of the companies that you're getting capital with, with these guys, they're janky. They're like 30% interest. And you don't want a 30% interest loan because you might not be able to pay it back. Many of you are starting your company, you're like, I can't get access to capital. But can you pay back the capital? Because if you don't have any revenue coming in, you know, 20, 30,000 a month, even 5,000 a month, can you pay back anything that you borrow? So let me make sure it's on my notes. So you're looking at at least, um, once you have personal credit score of at least probably a 650 or up above, 620, I guess maybe minimum, you need to make sure that you have money coming into your bank account because they're going to ask to see three months minimum of your bank statement. And then when you're going after capital, what I like to do from a line of credit perspective is at least have access to lines of credit that equal at least one year of my um, my operating expenses and my payroll, okay? so. At least I have that. If we didn't get any new business, could I survive for a year? And I also like to keep that in reserves and cash. So cash reserves and access to lines of credit. And then I also have access to loans. So I hope that helps because again, I'm, I'm here to inspire you, especially in business and educate and again, share. But I don't like the information that's out here because they're not like credible business owners. They're just people that pitch their services, which is cool too, it's a business, but it's a different style of business. And they're not really telling you the full story, and it frustrates me. You need to understand, yes, personal credit is something you need. You may again need collateral, and sometimes they want you to put up your house. Um, I put up um, the company vehicle, I put up some of like our computers in our office, because again, I'm, I'm all in anyway. And then you do also have to have the revenue generating in your bank account. You're not gonna get any type of capital from a reputable company if you do not have money coming in, if you're not generating revenue in your business. Doesn't matter if you're profitable, you need to be generating revenue. Now there's a way to hack that. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that right now. Maybe fast forward in a few years I will, but I will eventually. So again, leave me a comment below and let me know if, number one, I wanna know if you are in business and if you're in business full time. And if you have any questions, let me know and leave those below and I'll answer them in the next video. So. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, y'all.